He's so damn cute. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I you pee. I you pee. I see you pee. <laughs> Okay. Hello everybody. Hello everyone. Welcome to a new chapter and in this vlog we're going to be showing you some of the sights of our new lives here in southwestern Pennsylvania and that starts with IUP, the Indiana University of Pennsylvania and here at the culinary campus at uh, Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania we're going to be doing some fun welcoming activities before he starts his first day of classes on Monday, August 22nd. And I got a free t-shirt. You got a free t-shirt. <laughs> so did I actually. Yeah, we both so Everybody did. thought I was a student as well, but... He nope. looks like a student. I'm just a freeloading husband. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, time to have some fun. Yeah. Guys, Turn over a new leaf at IUP. Come on. Turn over a new leaf at IUP. We don't want the lawnmower to grab it later. We got it. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, my brain freeze. Freeze. Oh, it hurts my head. Holy crap. We did this at the beginning of the year, and then they wanted to do it again in August, and they were much faster at drinking it in August than they were at the beginning of the year. It's too cold. Come on. You can do it. We're winning this one. That was the worst brain freeze I've ever had. Oh my god. I don't do any comp cheering for the team. Oh. Oh. You can do it, mate. Come on, mate. You're an Aussie. Yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? It's very painful. Come on. You're doing good. Oh, babe. It burns. Oh, it's supposed to burn. Tip it more. Tip it more. You can do it. Yep. Come on, you got it. You're almost there. You got it. Chug, chug, come on. Come on, Golden, you got it. There's only a quarter left. You got it. Come on. Something about it. Come on. Open that throw. Come on, you guys. You can take a second. Come on. Let's go. Say it, say it. Say it. Come on, yeah. Go faster. Yeah. You know, I know we're all over the place, but you got it. Come on. There's not much left. Come on, you got it. That's right. Come on, Oh my god. Yeah, it's painful. It's very bad. I don't know how they're doing it. It's because they drank in high school. <laughs> oh my god, he did his instantly. Yeah. Oh my god. You can tell that you've never been to a high school party. No, I don't. Consider this athletic ability, baby. You got this. Okay, you got this first. Uganda are the Olympians. Come on, get for not chugging out the wall. Come on. Good job, guys. Yeah. Brain freeze, baby. Oh my god, look how fast he's going. Woo! You got this, Michaela. Come on. Lady Dragons. Woo! Come on, Michaela. It's down to the wire. Our last competitor. Yeah. 
Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Good job, guys. Who's got the rotten one? The rotten one? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, there's rotten eggs. Who's the raw one? Crack it. Come on, come on. I think that would be him. Uganda's being taken down. Okay, so we have one down for Uganda. Round two. It's the Olympics, baby. It is the Olympics. One rock. I like protect the clothes. All right. I'm going to start with this one. Yes. Come on, Sam. Get it. <laughs> All right. Who feels safe? Woo! Who's not so sure? Okay. One, two, three. Crack. Yes. Oh, it's me. Oh. Australia for the win! Oh, no. <laughs> you're, not, you're not eating it! You're scratching it against your forehead! Go over good! Alright! Round three, we're down to four people! Australia! Yeah! And Bahamas each have one represent! Australia, you could actually win first no. and second! Woo! Oh, yeah! That's how we come back, baby! Woo! Because obviously, um, no, we won't. Not yet. This is in two rounds. rounds. In two rounds, rounds you'll never start. Yes. Okay, we're gonna start in the middle. You can do it. <laughs> High five. All right, from Australia on three. I want to hear a kangaroo. One, two, three. No. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Kangaroo mates, let's go! Goodbye, Uganda! Which is good because they were winning! First and second, and you got our Bahamas could sell. Somebody's gonna get points this round. Yeah! Woo! Someone's gonna get points. Someone's gonna get points. Because the first thing we're gonna do at this point is silver or um, bronze. Uganda lost the yolk war. Okay, we have three eggs left. We will let Bahamas, since they only have one left, to pick the first egg. This is how we go after six parts of the eggs. Yep, this is, this is why. Alright, on the count of three. One. We get five. We get you guys are gonna. Alright, so still so we'll do it till the end to see who's the ultimate winner. Somebody oh, gotta get messy. Oh, yeah. Obviously, they still get five points, but yes. who wins? The right. Aussies are known for its perseverance. Which one is the best one? <laughs> Which one is the. Yep. Got it. Alright. Can I just crack it? I know. For I know the win. One, two. In the head. One first and second. We'll always be a proud Australian now. Australia! <laughs> Tied for second! <sighs> is Uganda and the Bahamas. So the first place goes to Australia! Yeah. Australia wins! All right, so First year luck! <laughs> we get good cards. All right, so I want to make That's sure right. make sure I have your name, so I, um, your paper, so I know who's on your teams. Um, I'll get your prizes this week. I can't guarantee they'll be Monday, but I'll email you to let you know when the prizes are in the office. Gift cards.
Hello there! It's the same day, and since we showed you a little bit of Colton's new school life, uh, we are going to show you a little bit of my new work life, and that is with the Laurel Highlands Council, Boy Scouts of America. And I'm actually going to uh, see the uh, most local camp close to me uh, for the very first time. It's actually Camp Seaf Mac, uh, which is actually just a 15 minute drive from my house uh, here in Indiana, Pennsylvania. Uh, we're in the Chestnut Ridge District right now, and uh, I'm going to an Order of the Arrow event, uh, which is our uh, local chapter, which actually uh, covers four of our districts here on the eastern side of the council. So I'm going to go uh, check out uh, this event and meet some new people, as I've been doing for the last couple weeks, uh, really just kind of getting to know the, the community and the scouting family here. And uh, it's been a blast, and we're going to keep doing that. And uh, we actually have six camps, I think, in this council, but uh, this is the one that's really close and uh, is most near and dear uh, to the volunteers in this area. Uh, so without further ado, let's go check it out before the, uh, the sun sets. And here we are, Camp Seaf Mac. Let's go check it out. And when you start catching up with people in the Boy Scouts of America, suddenly, before you know it, it is nighttime. But I'm just going to give you a chance here at the waterfront of Camp Seaf Mac here in Yellow Creek State Park to enjoy the nighttime ambience and the local wildlife. Well, look at that young man in his official uniform for the IUP Academy of Culinary yes. Arts. How do you feel? I feel very important. Yes, you are. <laughs> yep, this is the morning of his first full day of classes, so going to be learning how to make bread today. Yes, we're um, mixing bread. First 15 weeks, or not 15 weeks, first 15 days is ours and breads. Yep. And then many things after that as well. Yeah. 16 months start now? Yes, they start now. But yeah, look at them. Take it all in. <laughs> Those are the official pants, baby. Yep. Hell yeah. And then you have a little, little neckerchief uh, yep. underneath. Yep, I got it underneath. Yeah. Because that's what they told me to do. You look great. Have a great day, babe. You too. Thank you. All right, trying to get the American flag in the shot. Hello there, it's the same day and now I'm at work. Um, I'd say every couple weeks I have to come to the Pittsburgh main office, which is Flog Plaza. I filmed a small couple clips of this um, back when I was interviewing for the job in June, um, but I'm gonna give you guys more of an in-depth uh, in look at Flog Plaza, because it's kind of a historic place. It's a really awesome uh, location for a uh, scout office. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys kind of like the view that we have here. Uh, it's pretty incredible. Um, those are trees. However, if you go around it, you know, you get to see the uh, front of the building here. Boy Scouts of America. Here's the front of the building. These are some very tall, very tall flagpoles. I'll tell you that. Um, but then over here, um, you get to see more of the skyline. I don't know if I can show you guys properly. Um, and then what's really cool, uh, especially if you guys are familiar with the city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, um, its main building landmark is the UPMC building, and you can just see it um, really close from our office location here. And uh, it feels like if, uh, if you guys are getting a little dizzy, it's because uh, everything in Pennsylvania is on a hill, and that includes this great city. Um, I've always loved Pittsburgh. It's a beautiful place um, to visit, but now I work out of it. I can't say I work in Pittsburgh because most of the time it's in my two counties that I serve, uh, serving the volunteers and the scouts. Um, however, every uh, time or two, maybe a couple times a month, um, you know, we come out here to Pittsburgh as a full staff and that's what today is. So we actually have some fun in store. Uh, we're going to a Pittsburgh Pirates game later this evening. Don't know if I'll be able to show that at all, maybe the stadium a little bit, 
Um, but for now, I'm going to give you a little bit of an office tour, show you the exciting parts of the inside of the building, and uh, maybe a couple other features on the outside here. Um, but yeah, excited to work here, excited to serve um, the great organization that builds uh, future leaders. All right, so without further ado, let's go look around. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law to help other people at all times, keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. All right, so we have some time to kill uh, before the game actually starts tonight at around 7 p.m. So I'm going to uh, take the time to uh, walk around the uh, city of Pittsburgh a little bit um, here downtown um, next to the point, uh, maybe show that park off a bit and then get to the Pittsburgh Pirates game uh, this evening. Um, it's been really fun uh, just to uh, get to walk around again because it's been a while. It's been uh, at least a nearly a few years since I've actually been able to do that. So without further ado, let's check out the city of Pittsburgh.
Ah, guck mal. Well, that's cute. And now, boys, girls, and queers, it's game time.
I love my legs. on tradition, built for your future. Penn West University. It's Clarion, Cal, and Embro don't exist anymore. Oh. <laughs> Day, 
I'm in a new location. So I'm actually at Johnstown, Pennsylvania, uh, which is where we have one of our scout office and scout shops located. Um, so this is actually located in the Johnstown Galleria Mall. I don't like the word Galleria because it sounds like a bunch of fine art had a, had a mess on the museum floor. Somebody's got to clean it up. All jokes aside though, uh, this is a pretty cool location um, to have a uh, scout shop inside of a mall even though it's not the most thriving mall in existence, as many aren't in the United States of America. Um, there's a lot of outlets that are just plain empty here at the Johnstown Galleria. However, um, we do have a really awesome location. Uh, I think I can show that to you now. Um, we have a lot of our uh, volunteers here on the east side uh, that obviously come to this location because it's a lot closer than the Flag Plaza in Pittsburgh is. So it's a pretty, pretty neat place. And uh, I come here every so often. I've only been working for a little over two weeks. And this is my fourth time in Johnstown already. Um, but it's less than an hour away from me. And uh, actually, I can show you. Uh, today, I actually was uh, dropping off some more popcorn. Because we have a fall popcorn sale every year. Essentially every council in America. And so that's what that is. Now people can pick up their popcorn. I did a lot of that uh, popcorn distribution in LaSalle Council as well. And it's the uh, same song and dance here in Laurel Highlands uh, with trails and popcorn. But yeah, the fall is always a busy time of year. So I've been uh, running around. Monday was Pittsburgh. Today is Tuesday, Johnstown. Um, but of course, there are also days where I get to work from home or virtually or just going out and meeting people. Um, so. Let's show you what this store looks like. And this is the mall itself. It's pretty nice, honestly. But it is a little empty. This is my friend, the Scout Shop Mannequin. And since it got pretty late in that earlier clip here at Camp Seaf Mac, um, I wanted to, well, show it off again. I was definitely going to be here again today, um, meeting some other volunteers and doing some deliveries. Um, so I'm back at the camp. Um, and now I can show off some of it in the daylight, as well as Yellow Creek State Park, um, which uh, is surrounding, um, and uh, the camp is part of that, that state park land. Um, and it's just a beautiful place. we got a nice little lake here as well. Um, and it's just uh, gorgeous. Um, so I think this is going to be the last batch of clips for the vlog. So enjoy the sights of nature. And uh, I'll close this out um, after I show you what it looks like on this fantastic sunny day.
If the sounds of nature are familiar to you, it's because this is the location I was at when it was pitch black outside. So now you can see this awesome view in the daylight. Camp Seaf Mac, Yellow Creek State Park. And it has got a very gorgeous point out here. Let's check it out and have our camera view coast over the water here. It's always good to be out in the water. The water is my territory. I was always a waterfront guy. VSA lifeguard. I can pretty much teach most of the merit badges offered on the waterfront, save for water sports and motor boating. If you want me to teach you how to paddle any various boat, or swim, or hopefully save a life, I can do that, and I have. Several times. Yeah, some folks are out here for Wood Badge, which is the premier adult leader training that you can do. Uh, kind of meet new people, uh, become a part of a patrol, and uh, learn how to, uh, to lead others and to, to work on major projects. And uh, it's a pretty cool thing. Yeah. This is a nice perk of the job. Camp is part of your DNA. Whether you're a youth in the program, a volunteer, or a professional, it's all about what we have in our backyard. What we have is pretty cool. All right, now I'm on pretty much the opposite side of the creek and uh, more in the, uh, the, the normal passers-by who go through here come through this side of the park. Um, and actually, I'm walking towards uh, Lakeview Pavilion right now, uh, which is where last week um, there's a really big important presentation from the DCNR and uh, park staff um, about how there's going to be more uh, state government funding um, for this park and uh, funding our state and national parks is an absolute must. It is just priceless. Um, so that was really good news um, for nature lovers, us as people enjoying the planet and uh, the scouts and all the folks who use this park um, for their recreation and enjoyment. Um, so to be able to be a, a part of that presentation, you know, meeting the folks who were here and uh, learning the good news uh, firsthand uh, was really cool. Uh, that was really fun. Um, so yeah, it's a very scenic park. Um, actually one of the flatter parts of Pennsylvania, I will say, um, but beautiful nonetheless. We are here. Camp Seaf Mac is over here.
All right, I think that's as good of a place as any to end the vlog for now. Um, as many of you all know, even if you've only been watching for a small amount of time, I love nature. Um, nothing really soothes me, calms me down, more than just walking outdoors, checking out a new park, or a favorite old place that you haven't visited in a long time. Um, there's nothing like the soothing power of nature. And you've seen a lot of it on the vlog over the years. Um, being a playground uh, leader at the Beatty Park uh, when I was in college during the summers, um, helping out with my uh, original Boy Scout camp, Camp Olmstead, um, doing stuff in LaSalle Council and now doing stuff in Lower Highlands Council, um, and also just going to a lot of fun nature spots with Colton over the past few years. Um, I love nature. I don't know uh, if there are many things that I enjoy more. Um, don't always do it as much as I should and get out and stuff like this, but you should really take the time and um, I have to develop a great awesome connection with this place over the next however long, um, you know, we're, we're here, right? Uh, which could be a long time. Um, and so why not make a conscious effort uh, to go out in the wilderness and um, really make that intimate connection with the local camp, with the local state park. It goes a long way. Um, but yeah, there were a lot of things in this vlog. Um, Colton has started culinary school, and I have started my new career um, with my second Boy Scout Council, at least as a professional, at the Lower Highlands Council Boy Scouts of America. Um, so yeah, I'm always helping out scouts one way or another as a volunteer or as a professional. Um, so, you know, it just kind of, uh, kind of feels like I'm easing back into that, uh, that comfortable spot. Uh, that I know very well, and uh, I'll say that they, they've been treating us fantastically. Uh, fantastically? I don't know if uh, an adverb uh, of that is a real word. Anyway, it's been great so far. Um, actually, you know, Ivy Tech was really the first positive work environment I ever had, um, so leaving it was kind of hard and sad. Um, but so far, the folks here at Laurel Highlands Council really are organized, they're nice, and uh, I haven't really been getting overworked, at least as of yet. Um, September and October are usually some of the busiest months in the scouting year, so that may change. Um, but I don't know, the vibe here just feels pleasant and different and wonderful, and I like it. And then getting to come home to Colton every day and see what he's baked. I've been eating his bread this week, um, and knowing that he's having a blast pursuing his dream, Overall, the move is incredibly worth it. And we haven't even really visited friends and family that much yet either, so there are gonna be plenty of other awesome parts, um, benefits of this move that we haven't really experienced yet. So I think, uh, you know, those three years in the state of Indiana were great, and, uh, and we gave it a proper send off. That was nearly a three hour vlog <laughs> that I did over the summer. Um, but now we're in a new area and uh, the last vlog was the moving vlog, so this is the first vlog where it's truly cementing that we have these new lovely places um, that make up our new home. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Um, in the next video, you're actually going to be able to see our house. It's nearly done as I film this clip right now. Just got to do a couple more uh, uh, chores. Got to clean up a little bit now that everything is hung on the walls and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's time for the uh, new Zavinsky house tour, and uh, that will be the next video. So until then, guys, uh, we will see you in the next chapter. Thanks for watching.